Hi, my name is Vito and I'm your student union president. And this is the first of a monthly vlog series, keeping you guys updated on exactly what we're doing in DCU Student Union. So to start the semester, we had Refugee Week, which was particularly poignant this year as it coincided with the Save Our Shepherd campaign hitting another milestone. Shepherd got another extension, this time until the end of March, and it shows that the people in the department really are listening to the campaign, to all the noise we made back here in DCU and all the work that's going on behind the scenes. We're really hopeful that in the coming months he will have his order revoked once and for all, but for now it's just a case of being on standby, ready to go again and drive when we really need to. For now, I'm going to pass you on to the rest of the team and they're going to give you their monthly updates. Hi, I'm Craig. I'm your Vice President for Education and Placement in DCU Student Union. Over the last month, I've been working to make sure March 1st is the opening day of the new Java Student Centre. It's going to be a great opportunity for students to come together in a newly revitalised space on the St. Patrick's campus. I've also worked closely with student nurses in the Stand With Nurses and Midwives campaign where we help mobilise students onto the streets for the big demonstration. We're also working closely with student nurses to see what we can do going forward for nurses out on placement. <coughs> and thirdly, our student teacher campaign is in full swing. We're lobbying the government alongside the Union of Students in Ireland to bring back the Gwail Talk subsidy. It's been a really exciting and busy month with DCU Students Union. Hi, I'm Cal and I'm the Vice President for Academic Affairs. And here's what I've been up to so far in semester two. In week two, we ran Careers Week. This was a partnership campaign with the Career Service where we ran over 28 events uh, for all students in all faculties, postgrad students and online students. So there really was something for every student to help further their career once they leave DCU. Last week, the exam results came out. Exams results don't always go everyone's way. So if you do have any problems or concerns with how your results went, please do make sure to get in contact with me. My office is always open and my email is callahan at dcusu.ie. This year, we are piloting the student staff form. This is where three students and three staff from each faculty meet on an informal basis over lunch to discuss the problems that may be arising within the faculty and hopefully find a resolution to these problems. And we'll hope to further these initiatives over the next year. Hi, my name is Carl. I'm your Vice President for Engagement and Development. Semester two is in full swing now and we've had lots going on. I facilitated the training of class reps even further. I've also organised Green Weeks, which is a range of events to do with sustainability, energy, food waste, which includes a big food demo down in the EU. Lastly, I've been planning the Summer Ball, which is going to be a huge festival down in Ohio. It's a day-long festival with lots of bits and bobs, so really looking forward to it. Hi guys, I'm Ashling and I'm the Vice President for Welfare and Equality. So, so far this semester we had Nice Week in Week 1, which was just a way to welcome everyone back into Semester 2 in a nice way. Then in Week 3 we had Kiss Week, so it was our Sexual Health Week called Keep It Safe and Sexy. We welcomed in lots of outside organisations such as the USI, the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre, the National Women's Council of Ireland and many more to try to spread a positive message and start a conversation around sexual health, including the installation of our mural outside the Henry Grattan building, which is all about talking about sexual harassment and violence in third level education. As well as that, I was very kindly invited by senior management to speak to them about gender identity and expression. And the presentation went down extremely well, so thank you to Breen himself for asking me to do that. And we're hoping now to give this presentation to lots more staff and departments around DCU. So, we have another hectic month coming up. Firstly, we have election season, where there'll be a pool of candidates vying to be your next student union leadership team. So make sure you listen to every candidate over the next couple of weeks, listening to what they have to say, what they want to do for you, and what they want to do for their students' union. And make sure to cast your vote between Tuesday and Thursday of week six. As well in week six, we'll have Blind Boy coming to DCU for his podcast tour. Ticket details will be announced very soon, but it's on March 6th, so keep the date free in your diary. And finally, in week seven, we'll start the Irish Student Survey for Engagement, where we'll be emailing every single one of you looking for you to fill out a survey. It may not sound exciting, but it's crucial in feeding back to us exactly what's going right and wrong for students in DCU at the moment. And with that, we can make the improvements that are important to you guys. So thank you very much. We'll see you out and about. Make sure to remember that we're always here if you ever need us.